Alan Amanda here, right to so I thought I'd come and share a um a little mini album with yourself. It's super easy. It might end up being a long video and I may well stop and start in sections because I'm making it as we go. Alright, I don't have a sample, I'm making it up. So I've taken some black cards that I had in my stash. They've actually started life as 7x7 seven seven cards, had them gifted, they've been around forever, I've decided to use them. And I've cut them to 6x6 six six cards. So if you don't have some cards, you can cut cardstock up, 12x12 um, 12 12 cardstock into 6x12, six score them in half at 6. If you don't have 6x6 six six cards, you have some other size, use those and adjust my sizes, but use the basic idea. Alright, you can use whatever you want. So we've got these, uh, I've got one, two, three, four, I've got six. Alright, so what I've also cut is six, what I like to call structure strips. Um, and these are going to join them together. These are going to bind our pages, our cards and make them into pages. So these measure one inch by six inch. And I actually use these when I cut off to make these smaller. This is what I was left with, so I decided to use them. Um, so these are one inch by six inch. As I say, if you're using different size cards, adjust your strips accordingly, but do one inch. Then score in half. Um, at half an inch, I've used my scar bar because this is quite thick card and fold each one in half. All right, so do that to all of them. All right, and then obviously, we're going to use those to bind our card um, our cards into pages in, and make it into a book. It's super simple, very, very easy, and it's a quick way of getting into mini albums. It's a good way of using what you've got, if you've got envelopes or cardstock or whatever. It's a good way of using up your hoard of paper, because I'm sure you've got some, I know I have. Right, so okay, so that'll bind the pages. And then I did get another card and I've cut that in, in half. So I've got two pieces that are six by six. We're going to use those as flaps. Okay, I may well cut a sliver off of those later on in the video so that they close nicely. Alright, but first of all, we're going to attach um, each one of these to the back of card one and glue card two on. So let me just show you what I'm going to do. Small amount of glue on that. As I say, I will pause and go and pause and go as I'm creating this album because I'm creating it along with you um, with the video. Okay, so if it ends up being long, you can always fast forward it if you like to the interesting bits. So I've glued that on there, I'm just going to give it a press and make sure that's nice and firmly glued on. And then let me just move that, bring in my bone folder. Okay, and then so there's one. I can put some glue on the top of there. Am I still in shot? Yep, glue on the top of there and add the next card on, making sure you've got it up the opening the right way. Okay, so I just place that on top of there. All right, depending on the thickness of your card, you might need to give it a little bit of drying time. Make sure each one's lined up nicely as you go. Alright, so I'm going to go away and finish that and then we'll be back for part, the next part. So once we have stuck all of our pieces together, we're going to end up with a little book like this. We're going to leave the spine exposed because I think it's quite cute. Maybe when we get to the end and we get to the decorating process, we'll cover it. I don't know yet. As I've told you, um, I'm making this at the same time you are. So we've got our book there. All of those pages will open nicely. Just uh, move them backwards and forwards. But this structure strip will help. Um, with the you know with the stability and if you use nice card it won't crack all right so we're just going to make sure all of those and all of those joins are all going to get covered with paper and things so it's fine so the next thing you want to do is plan how you're going to do the layout of your album now you've got a blank album now that you've made you can do what you want I find it easier if you just plan it and because we've done six by six we can repeat and it's square we can just repeat and um, the sizes of things 
for different pages so that's going to be your front okay so we're going to leave that that's your front so then on this one here we're going to do a bottom pocket and I'm writing it in white pencil so that I can remind myself so I don't stick the wrong things on the wrong places now if you wanted to just layer all of this just plain with DSP you'd just cut your pieces to five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths and just mat and layer the whole thing all right we're going to do just a little bit more a decoration than that so that's going to be a, a, a bottom pocket this one we're going to leave plain for a full photo mat or maybe we'll decorate it so that will just be DSP then if we turn over okay we're going to have this one as a side pocket okay so we're going to put a pocket there and then this one here we're going to leave and we'll alternate it we'll alternate it okay and then on this one here we're going to have a bottom pocket here and a bottom pocket here okay uh, and you just go through and up on this page here I'm going to leave that and then on here I'm going to have flap so I'm going to make a flap opening for that with this okay so we'll do that in a minute let me plan the rest of it so that's a flap so I'm going to leave that one just a photo mat this one's going to be a side pocket uh, that one I'm going to have a bottom pocket that one I'm going to leave uh, I mean you can do it so it literally alternates bottom pocket side pocket leave bottom pocket but I'm just mixing it up a bit I'm being you know uh, you, you can do each page um, in alternates to make it easy for yourself but um, I'm just having a play I'm going to leave that I'm going to have that one as a side pocket and that one I'm going to have a flap so I've got another piece here okay and then here I'm going to have um, side pocket side pocket and then this one I'm going to leave both of those might have them as decorative pages I'll have both of these as bottom pockets okay and then this one I'll have as a, a side pocket and then the back one I'll leave. Right, so I've planned all my pages now. Alright, so then just write down on a piece of paper how many pockets you need. Alright, so let's have a look. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I need twelve pockets. Now the beauty of this is that we can do all of those pockets exactly the same size. So we've only got one size to cut. We just need twelve of them. All right. So that might take a couple of sheets of paper, but I'm using an old stash, so I don't mind. If you don't want to, you can change the sizes. You can make them smaller. You can do what you want. So I'll address the size of the pockets. So whether it's a bottom pocket or a side pocket, it wants to be cut to the same size, which is six and three eighths by two and a half. And whether it's a bottom pocket or a side pocket, we'll make it the same way. All right. So I've got a sheet of 12 by 12 here. So we want the first cut to be at six and three eighths. And I've done that so that the width of the pocket ends up at five and seven eighths which is just a little bit shorter than the six so that we've got room to close the pages all right so the width is going to end up at five and seven eighths but we've cut it at six and three eighths so that we can score a quarter of an inch each side to uh, you know to attach it so one two is that six and three eighths there six and three eighths okay save that because we can use that to make more stuff so six and three eighths by two and a half if you want to make your paper go further you can adjust the sizes make the pockets a little bit smaller whatever you want or do less so that's one so six and three eighths by two and a half one two three and by the same token, if you want pockets bigger, you make them bigger. Four. Okay, I'll save that, that for something. So I've got four out of half of a sheet of 12 by 12. Let me see what this is coming up at. So that's not. So if I cut that to six and three eighths that way, it's about there, is it? 
Okay, let's move that. I'll use that for something else. I'll make some, I won't waste any of the card that I'm cutting off. I'll turn it into tags or something like that. So then six and three eighths by two and a half. That's one. And that's another. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got nearly, if you don't want to use as much card, do less pockets. Okay, you can always adjust as you go. So then what you want to do is you want to score every single one on three sides at quarter of an inch. Okay, so that's, where's quarter of an inch? Is that quarter of an inch? Quarter of an inch, half an inch. Yeah, so that's quarter of an inch there. Get off. Alright, so score on three sides. So on the two short sides and on one long side at quarter of an inch. Will quarter of an inch do it? Let me just check that I've got that right. Hold on. Does that make that five and seven eighths? Hopefully. It does. Yes. So that's right. So it's quarter of an inch on three sides. Just checking that I've got my mathematics right there. Uh, obviously if you want to make your uh, that you're attaching parts like the larger then yeah measure it bigger and do that half an inch but quarter of an inch is more than enough to just anchor that down and so then you just fold each one like so all right you cut away where the little square is there I'm even on camera yeah and then make sure that when those are folded over they don't um, block each other when they're folded down because that'll make it bulky right and then just these quarter of inch strips is where you attach that to your album you can use glue you can use tape use whatever you like all right I'll just quickly show you one and what you can do before you attach them or after you can put a thumb notch in there with a um, punch Okay, uh, uh, that is what you could do. I'm going to leave mine plain. So then that will fit just nicely on the bottom there um, as a pocket and it's not encroaching on where it folds because we've just made it ever so slightly smaller. All right, so it's the same whether you put it on the bottom or if you have it on the side, you put it that way. All right, so then you work your way through. That needs a little bit more glue. You work your way through and attach all of your pockets either to the bottom or to the side they're all the same size it's the same process you just repeat it okay so I'm going to go away and do mine and then I'll come back with the next part all right so if you just be getting on with that the next part we'll show is the flaps so we're going to do the flaps now sorry if the lighting's a little bit inconsistent um, my camera is in a bay window so I have to keep adjusting the white balance so that it's not glare so on this page I've decided we're going to have a flap so I've already cut two and these measure six by six but what I want to do is I don't want it to encroach on that fold there so I'm just going to cut a sliver off each of these flaps and just cut them to just short of six inches so that we've got the six inch mark and then we've literally got a sixteenth of an inch which just makes it a little bit shorter so I'm just trimming a sixteenth of an inch off of the width and off of the length all right and then we're just going to cut that in half on this one to just about three it doesn't matter one's going to be sixteenth a sixteenth of an inch bigger than the other it doesn't really matter we're cutting them in basically in half so that's one okay so that's going to be one of my flaps the other flap I'm going to leave plain so I'm just cutting a sixteenth of an inch off just before the six inch mark off of both the side and the length just to make sure it doesn't encroach when we're closing, opening and closing the book alright and then I've done two more of these little what I call structure strips all right, and these, have I cut these? Yeah, so these were the normal, six inch by one inch, scored at half an inch and folded in half. But what I've done is I've just, again, cut a sliver off. And I've cut these, if you can see, I've cut these at an angle so that they don't peek out. Um, just make it a bit tidier and I've used tape on these because tape will be it'll be it'll be fine so on the one where we've done where we've cut it in half we're going to have one at the top I'll just put it that way one at the top and one at the bottom 
so that they may let me just make sure and see if it needs any more cutting off um, that's fine now I want it with just uh, a tiny tiny gap there because I'm not sure how I'm going to fasten it yet I've not decided if I'm going to do like a wrap around closure or if I'm going to do one of the slide and uh, lock mechanisms that Nicola Mason showed me I'm not sure yet so I'm just going to attach these now so on the Take the tape off of the structure strip. All right, I'm just getting shot and put it on the top of one of your flat pieces. All right, and then take the tape off, making sure I'm in shot. There we are. All right, and then you're just attaching that very carefully to the edge of your. Page. All right, so line it up carefully. You don't really want it to be wonky. Perfection isn't everything, but in this instance, we could do with it just being all right. And just make sure that that's not encroaching, which that one is ever so slightly, because I think I've just stuck it on a really tiny bit wonky. Let me just gently lift it. Carefully lift it. It'll go back down. So what you want to do is you want to just be sticking it just away from the from the fold there to make sure it doesn't stick when you when you're closing your book. There we go, that's better. And if you find that it is um, still sticking on your book, this is quite thick cardstock that I'm using. If you do find that it is, then just take it and just cut another sliver off very very carefully, which I may I might do um, after the video. Maybe check before you stick down and see if that it's not encroaching now, it's fine. Okay, so let me just check here. It's very thick cardstock, that's why I'm just going to take another sliver off. So I do just check, because it does depend on the thickness of your cardstock. This that I've got out of my stash that I've had for about 50 years is like, it's almost as nearly as thick as chipboard. Um, normal thinner cardstock wouldn't encroach at all. I think it's just because mine's a bit thick that's fine so I've just took an extra sliver off so just double check before you you know get it properly adhered down that it's not encroaching on your folds all right so we've put in this little strip on the edge of here I do struggle I don't know why I've made it in black because I, I seem to be kind of color blind when it comes to black I can't always see what I'm doing maybe it wasn't the best Alright, so but it's what I had in my stash, so I was using it. That's not straight. Let's just there we go. That's better. And then we've got a flap that goes up and a flap obviously at the bottom as well. Let me just line that on there just a little tad away from the from the spine. There we go. And then that will open like so. What we're gonna do with it yet? I don't know. Um, we'll see okay but you can layer all that you could just have a photo mat in there you could have a waterfall in there I'll probably just have a photo mat um, and then that will close like so and you can do a fancy closure there all right okay and then for the next one this one is just where have I said I'm going to put that there this is just going to be a fold down one all right so again I'm just going to check that if I adhere that on there it's not going to encroach so I'm just going to take, because my cardstock's really thick, I'm just going to take an extra sliver just off of the side measurement, just a really little bit, just a whisper, and you do the same, just double check, um, it won't make much difference, but it, you don't want it getting stuck on where your book folds, there where it closes, there we go, that's better, so, <coughs> so then I've got another one of these strips, I cut a load all at once and have them hand down in case I decide, you know, what I, you know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> so I attach that to the top, like so. Just line the corner up, <coughs> like so. And this is going to be as far as we go today. I'm going to come back tomorrow and I will have all of the measurements for the rest of the layout. I'm going to make some photo mats and perhaps some tags and I'll give you all of the DSP measurements that you need. So do come back tomorrow and we will complete our mini book uh, and your challenge for today 
is to get the structure of it done and get the layout done and get all of your flaps made you can, obviously you can have more flaps if you want you could also have the flap that way or you could have it from the bottom so we've got an opening one that way and then just a plain one that way all right so go and construct your book add all your pockets add your flaps and then we'll come back tomorrow we're going to lay the dsp and i'll give you some hints and tips on decorating all right thanks for watching take care and i'll see you again tomorrow bye for now